Thank you, Father. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You are the mighty God. The great I am, hallelujah, hallelujah, you are the mighty God, the great I am, hallelujah, hallelujah, take glory, Father, take glory, Son, take glory, Holy Ghost, now and forevermore. Take glory, Father. Take glory, Son. Take glory, Holy Ghost. Now and forevermore. You are bigger than what people say. Jehovah, you're bigger than what people say. You are bigger than what people say. Jehovah, you're bigger than what people say. Some say that you are good, that you are kind. You are bigger than what people say. Some say that you are good, that you are kind. You are bigger than what people say. You are bigger than what people call you. Jehovah, you're bigger than what people say. You are bigger than what people name you. Jehovah, you're bigger than what people say. Some say that you are good, that you are kind. You are bigger than what people say. Some say that you are good, that you are kind, you are bigger than what people say, you are bigger than what people say, Jehovah, you're bigger than what people say, you are bigger than what people call you, Jehovah, you're bigger than what people say, I say that you are good, I say that you are kind, you are bigger than what people say. I say that you are good, I say that you are kind, you are bigger than what people say. We say that you are good, that you are kind, you are bigger than what people say. We approve that you are good. That you are kind, you are bigger than what people say. We affirm that you are good, that you are kind, you are bigger than what people say. You are bigger than what people say. Jehovah, you're bigger than what people say. You are bigger than what people call you. Jehovah, you're bigger than what people say. You are bigger than what people imagine. Jehovah, you're bigger than what people say. I say that you are big, that you are kind. You are bigger than what people say. I say that you are good, that you are kind. You are bigger than what people say. Thank you, Father. 
We bless your holy name. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor and we give you adoration. You are good. You are kind. You are faithful. You are holy. You are righteous. There is no one like you. The first and the last, the lily of the valley, the streams of life. I bless you. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this hour. In your presence, we glorify your holy name. We magnify you, O oh God. Thank you for mercy. Thank you for grace. Thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for your all sufficiency. Thank you for answers. Thank you, O oh God, for peace. Thank you for good health. Thank you for protection, provision. Thank you, O oh God. Be thou glory glorified, be thou magnified in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Today, O oh God, we yield our understanding to you, O oh God. We ask for wisdom, we ask for direction, we ask for interpretation in the name of Jesus. We ask, O oh God, that you speak to us and open our minds, open our eyes of the Spirit in the name of Jesus. We ask, O oh God, that even as we begin to pray, as we minister unto what you used to create us. Abba Father, today let the people come out of every form of captivity that the earth or spirits that are from the earth that are tormenting them, oh God. I ask King of Glory that they be released tonight in the name of Jesus, that you will release us, release your people, anything, Abba Father, that is attached to the earth, whether a tree, whether a stone, whether what. I don't know whatsoever, may without water, without without I don't know wherever, whatever the people have been locked into. I ask Abba Father that we pull the people out today in the name of Jesus. Let the earth open its mouth and vomit what it has swallowed, it has eaten. Let the earth open its mouth and release the blessings of the people. Let the earth open its mouth and vomit what has been placed in him. Oh God, that is working against God's people. Let the earth open its mouth and also so swallow the enemy in the name of Jesus. Let the earth open its mouth and vomit their secrets. Let the earth open its mouth and release, oh God, every hidden agenda of the enemy. Let the earth open its mouth to them. Oh God, let the earth open its mouth and speak in the name of Jesus. Let the earth open its mouth and bear witness, oh God, with us today in the name of Jesus. Let the earth direct somebody tonight in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. So today we are going to be looking at the earth. So Praise God. Hallelujah. We are going to, as I said, we are going to be doing some talking. We are going to talk. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Okay. I'm going to try my best today to release to you everything that I, I have or uh, that is inside of me concerning the earth. Okay. So I'm going to begin by explaining to you the spiritual symbol of the earth. All right. What is the symbol of the earth? I don't want to go into your your geographical meaning of the earth. I don't, I'm not teaching geography here, but 
I'm going to go straight to talk to you about you know the meaning, the spiritual meaning of the earth or the or the or the symbol of the earth. All right. So The earth, metaphorically, it is um, um, speaking, the earth, metaphorically speaking, the earth represents consistency. The earth, it represents the physical body. Amen. The earth, metaphorically, does. It represents consistency. The, the earth is constant. The earth is here. When we did foundation, we, 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 we noticed that God said he had laid the foundations of the earth in that Psalms 105. He said in, in that uh, 104 verse 5, he said that he had covered the, the foundation of the earth as with a garment. So the earth is 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 constant god has created the earth in a way that it is constant i know that geographers say the earth is rotating but spiritually god has created the earth the earth is constant amen you cannot throw the earth away until when rapture will come the bible said and the new jerusalem will emerge praise the lord so you cannot come and say i will move the earth no praise god amen now, I'm going to go ahead and explain a little more concerning the earth, just so that we will not uh, be left like that, all right? The earth also is a symbol, symbol of groundedness and keeping a level. The earth is a symbol of groundedness. Groundedness like, like foundation, a consistent level. Okay? Something that you can actually touch, you can actually feel. All right? We are going somewhere. The earth also, they call the earth the mother. You hear many times people say mother earth because out of the earth, everything has come out, even you and I. So the earth is a mother. That's the reason why when you will pick that earth in your hand today and you begin to talk to it, it, it will hear you because it is a mother. The earth does not deny anybody. Even, even to the point that if they if, if if they kill somebody, they want to bury it. Will open your mouth. They put in fight. So the way you want to use the egg is available for you, but it also has its own consequences. So I said here that the egg, in a very rare sense is our mother, okay? We are born from mother earth. We are created from the mother earth. Amen. We come from there. That is our genesis. That is where God took us from. That's why when somebody died, they say, Onto dust. From dust you came, to dust you return. Because that is your genesis. A lot of people say, Ish, I know, especially people who grow in the Western world. They'll be like, No, I don't want to touch it, this and that. 
Well, that's you. That's you. That thing you're having there, that's you. As it looks, as, the, as, as dirty as it is, as, as no matter how fair you are, whether white skin, black skin, doesn't matter what color you are, what race you are, that's you. What you have in your hand today, that is you. That's where you came from. Amen. So I'm going to go to the book of Genesis chapter two, and then we're going to start talking from there. Amen. When God caused man to sleep, when God formed man on the sixth day, Thank you, Jesus. Let's go to Genesis. I also want you to know that the earth came out of water. When God separated, you know, shifted the water, the earth showed forth. So the water has a lot to do with the earth. Underneath the earth is water. <laughs> That is why, I don't know if they say 75 or 85% of a human body is water. That is also because a good percentage of the earth is water. The earth is only at the surface. The, the depth under is water. The water is what is sustained, sus, the earth is suspending on. Well, that's uh, God knows how he did all of those things. I don't know me. Amen. So if you can imagine how powerful water is, it is liquid, but it is able to carry something that is solid. Even underwater, we have mountains underwater. Have you seen them? You watch those things that do, they don't see life thing. You see mountains, you see things under water. Water is very, very powerful. That's the reason why the, uh, it, a lot of battle, there are a lot of battles between the man and the water. The water spirits, they can quickly, they can, they, they can maneuver, they can have access into a man because of the quantity of water that is in a man. Remember that the earth is suspended on water. Your own body, inside this, your body like this, it was 85%, that's if I'm not wrong, of this, your body is water. So the same thing that happens in the earth is the same thing that happens on this person. Water has a lot of influence on man. That is why as a believer and somebody that understands spirituality, when you are dealing with water spirit, it's not something that's why they can have a grip on man. And, and it will be as if the man can never, ever escape. No matter what it is like, it still has its own power and stamina. Praise the Lord. Let's go to Genesis chapter 2.
Let's see from verse five. It said, at the time God made earth and heavens before the grasses or shrubs had sprouted from the ground, God hadn't yet sent rain on earth, nor was there anyone around to walk the ground. Okay, it said on the ground spring. Okay, it said God formed man out of out of death. This message translation. <laughs> God, it said God formed man out of death from the ground. I don't know what your own translation is saying. Maybe I should read another Bible, this one. It said God formed man out of the death from the ground and blew into his nostrils the breath of life. So God took the earth. So God took the earth and formed it. You read, it says, and he said, they said in heaven that let us make man in our own image. So he now took the ground and formed man and then breathed into man. So when God created man, man was dead. Until he breathed the bread of life inside of man. That's why any time that he takes his spirit, that man goes back to that death that it came from, that ground. When I was preparing this message, the picture of the potter kept on coming to me. That God, just as he said in that Jeremiah concerning the potter, he just took ground and, 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 and formed something. He just formed us like that. Now, the only difference now, from you, you taking that your ground that you have there now, you can mold it, you know, you can put water in it and make a small man. The only problem will be that, that that man will not have bread because it will be like a statue. But you see those monuments that they make like that, that's how God created us. And if he did not put bread in us, that's the bread of life in us, that's how it would have been like those monuments. That's how why... No matter what you are doing, no matter how you, 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 you grow and become big and have so much, always remember that you are dust. When you remember that thing, it humbles you very well. Those people that you are looking at, you think that you are high class and they are low class, you and them came from the same dust much. So the difference is only that he now breathed into the nostrils of a man. The man came alive. If they say the man came alive, it means that when he created the man, the man was dead, right? The man was dead. He said the man came alive, a living soul. Hallelujah. The man came alive and became what? A living soul. So the moment that man came alive, meaning that God had also given life to the earth that we came from. If the earth did not have the ability to give life, Things will not grow from the ground and be alive. A seed will not fall to the ground and, and dies. And then, do you know that any seed that you plant to the ground, it first of all dies? It dies before it comes back to life. So God has given the earth powers to quicken 
things that are dead. God has given power to the earth. The earth has so much power to cause something that is very little to become very mighty. That is why you can plant one seed to the ground. And without one grain of corn, on that one stem of corn, you can harvest up to four or five, you know, what do they call it? Years or what of corn from it. That's how powerful the earth is. Out of the earth that we came from, we can also give birth to children. You get the egg gave birth to you. You now, you are able to also give birth to children. Amen. I'm doing my best. The earth has the ability to hear, to respond to what we tell it. It has the ability to hear. It has the ability to report. The Bible said in that same Genesis that when Cain killed Abel, it said Abel's voice was crying from the ground. It is the egg that was saying that, what is this? What have you done? Why have, why have you poured blood on me? Because the egg had never, ever witnessed such a thing before. So it, because that was the first time that something like that happened, the second time, the first time that the egg received the blood of an innocent man, he cried out. It provoked the voice. The blood began to speak because the head was retaliating. Why will you feed me with this? And the Bible said also that when Jesus was crucified, now the blood of an innocent man touched the head. The head cried out. The blood of a righteous man touched the head. The temple curtain tore open. It depends on what you want to do with the earth, how it will respond to you. Am I talking? I'm trying my best though, because I know a lot of people have taught things concerning it, but I'm trying my best to download how the Holy Spirit is. You see, I don't have a book. I didn't write anything. I just sat and the Holy Spirit was talking to me. I'm trying my best. He said, I should go. He will lead me. So I'm doing my best to, to my, of my understanding to give everything as he's telling me to give you. So it depends on what you want, how you want the earth to respond to you. When the earth, when the earth received the blood of an innocent man, it provoked the blood to cry. That's why God said to Cain, what have you done? See, the, the, the blood of your brother is crying from where? From the earth. Because the head was angry, the head retaliated. Say, why will you feed me with such a thing? God had already prepared a way that I get whatever I, I want. 
Why have you decided to introduce blood to me? Because the earth had never ever witnessed. But then after many, many years, the earth also received another blood. But this blood was not the blood of an innocent man like Cain, no, like Abel. It was the blood of a righteous man. So there are two different kinds of things that will happen today. You will speak to the earth, not as an innocent man, but you will speak to the earth as a righteous man. Because of the righteous foundation that you have in Christ Jesus, as you will begin to speak to the earth, the earth will not have any option than to start to destroy by itself whosoever has done anything against you. Today, the earth will repent. I said the earth will repent from ever accepting that they come to cut animals upon him because of you, that they come and stand and do evil because of you. The earth will begin to vomit them out. The earth will begin to cry out. Today, after today, some of you will hear something in your family. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Like I said, I'm doing everything. I don't want to give you any knowledge that I, 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 it's something that is, is premeditated or something I, I just just I want to follow the Holy Spirit Holy say let me talk to you and you talk to them so if you see me stop I'm trying to to on you know put it in the way that we all understand it very well amen thank you father So, the earth is powerful. It can bear witness. It can actually bear witness. It can actually speak. It can actually it have the ability to listen. It has the ability to give birth. Some things, there are some things that they have spoiled in some people's lives. The head is going to say, okay, now that they have already spoiled this one, I have the ability to recreate. I'll give you another one. Today, may the head draw from within it whatever they have caused to put, they have planted inside of it and it died. May he give you a new one. Just as a seed drops to the earth and dies and yet come back to life and then sprout. May you, whatever thing that is in your life, that is supposed to be yours, that has the, the enemy had put to the ground and destroyed it. May it come back to life. May it be given back to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There are people who understand very well how to operate with the earth. We're doing a deliverance at the end of the month, last, last, yeah, last month. And in the course of the deliverance, a demon said that they picked the footsteps of somebody. That they picked the footsteps of somebody from where? That way the person went and sat down. When the person left, they went there and Pick the footsteps from where? From the earth. There are a lot of people that their footsteps have been taken like that. And from there, your footstep is you. And from there, they are using that footstep to command them. They are using that footstep to do all manner of things to them. Today, with that one in your hand, with what you have in your hand, 
as you, you will collect your footstep from anybody. You will collect your footstep from anybody. It doesn't matter who is holding it. Whether it's your father, your mother, your sister, your brother, your wife or husband, you will collect your footsteps from them in the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter whether that person is a witch or a wizard. Whosoever is having your footsteps that is using to conjure your life, today with the earth in your hand, you will also control and take everything that concerns you that is in the hand of the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus. Like I said to you before, that the earth has the ability to really hear. How? You will see many times people will pick the earth and you will see them talking to the earth. When they finish talking to it, they will blow it. Now it's very, very serious because no matter where you are, except, I don't know, no matter where you are, if you are not in space, you are living on earth. And that place where you are, that earth that you are living like that, there's soil there. Now the earth is very powerful that everything that is in it is, it is attached to it. Now that you are sitting in your house, your feet are where? On the ground, right? Even if you are living in a story building where it's 50 stairs, 50 stories, that building is standing on the ground. So that your house, where you are putting your feet now, is on the ground. Now, you are, have you ever seen a tree that is suspended? He cannot suspend. Now, <laughs> ah, God help us today, Jesus' name. Everything is attached to the earth. Everything on this earth is in the plane where they finish flying, they'll come and land on the earth. The birds, when they finish flying, they'll come and land on the tree. The tree is planted to the ground. So the earth is like a landing point. No matter how great you are, after you have finished everything in life, you die. They'll go plant you for ground. The earth has the ability to give and has the ability to swallow. And one thing about the earth is that it, it is never ever satisfied. That's its nature. Because God created it to, to bring out things and also receive things. When something grows from the earth, it blossoms. When something dies, the, it's still rotting on the earth, the earth swallow, still take it. Hmm. What I just said that is very powerful. What I just said to you now is very, very what? Powerful. When something grows out of the earth, it blows some. Let's take mushroom. Have you seen it just in Africa when mushroom will pop? You go somewhere like that, you see mushroom pop up from the ground. And then as you pass in that place where that mushroom come, came out like that, nobody saw it. And then it rotting. Have you seen it? Have you ever also seen that side? The very earth that produced that, that gave that beautiful mushroom, that same earth. It still swallowed that dirty mushroom, that rotten. Hmm. Ah, it, on this earth, you can be decorated. On this earth, you can be messed up. See, today, anybody, anywhere, that is using the earth to speak nonsense concerning you. To, to anybody that is telling the earth to, to destroy her, swallow her, let nothing work for her, let marriage scatter for her, let her children die, let this one happen for her. Ah, may the earth today that you are having in your hand, will you, you, may the earth. May it begin to judge that person also in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us look at this scripture. Jeremiah chapter 29. 
He said, O F F F Hear the word of the Lord. Thirteen. Thirteen. Thus saith the Lord, write ye this man. Childless. A man that shall not prosper. <laughs> in his days, for no man in his seat shall prosper. Sitting upon the throne of David and ruling anymore in Judah. Yes, what somebody go and tell the earth. If the earth could not hear. Did you see how many times he called it? He called it like that because he was laying emphasis. How do you tell the egg that is a egg? Does it have hand? The egg should write the man. It should record the egg to witness. Make sure that you witness that this man be childless. That they see, the, even this man mistakenly have a child, say they, they see will not prosper. He said, and let none of them ever sit on the throne. Let it never be placed in any place, anywhere high. Child of God, it is very sad. Because this is the situation of many people. And they don't know, they are asking, what is fighting me? A command has been given to the earth to witness your failure. Ah, but in the name of Jesus Christ, let it reverse by fire. Let it be reversed by fire. Let it be reversed by fire. Let it be reversed by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, right concerning this man. Let him be childless, jobless, poor. None should come out of him that will ever have honor. Nothing good should come out of him. Let him be ridiculed. Let him be a beggar. Let, nothing good. They said, let the egg. Do you know what it means that they'll tell the egg that something that you wake up every day, the first thing when you, you, you come down from your bed, you put your leg on it. And he said that thing should, should, should be, a, it, it should record such a thing against you. How are you going to make it in life? When Sister Pretty built, I think it is a house. What is, what is that? She built a house and nobody was entering there. I told her, go and pick it from that house and bring to me. When she went and picked the egg from that house, I said, put mix salt in it, go back there, pray, pray on it. They go back and go and throw it, I think at the four corners of that place. What happened? Immediately, they took the entire building whatever was spoken over that place as i also spoke to the earth and sent her with it the earth rejected everything that they said and the reverse happened that is the same thing that will happen to you and i today anything that the earth 
has been obeying. What they have planted in the ground, in the earth, to be working against you. What they have said to the earth, what they have poured to the earth as libation, what they have planted into the ground, what they have said to the earth, what they have whispered, what they have, they have imagined against you using the earth today. From that very earth that you were created, that we have said it before, that the earth is our mother because that is where God brought us from. You are going to take that earth. You are going to spend time and talk with it. You will ask mama, what is it? How can you betray me? How can you be, how can you witness wickedness against me? When it happened to Jake, to, 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 to uh, 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 Abel, you, re, you retaliated. Why is it that you accept that they should do this thing to me? In that Jeremiah, the Bible said they cry, oh, Ed, oh, Ed. It means he can hear you. How can you, who God created me from, now become my enemy. Where do you expect me to go? Why do you want to allow these people to cause you to swallow me for my time? Today, some of you need to talk. Any grass that they will come and cut, you will tell the earth, you will condition the earth. That any grass that they will come and cut from you, that they want to use it to do something against me, it will not work. You, you, from today, I enter a covenant. It will not work anymore. It will not work in the name of Jesus. Anything, any spirit, because the earth has its own spirit. Any spirit that is coming from you, anything that I have done. Some people that have committed, you see, this abortion, that they are talking about like this. Abortion is a very bad thing. The earth is always accusing people who have poured the innocent blood. That's why when you hold that earth in your hand, you will speak to it. Too. You will tell it that see. <laughs> Some of you, you walk a crooked waka like this. Waka waka waka. One kind crooked waka. The earth is looking at you. The, ah, this one, what is happening? We're going to speak. You take that earth and we'll enter into prayer. First thing first, you first make peace with that earth. You first make peace with it. You're one of those people. You make people to other people to cry, their tears will be dropping on the ground. The head is recording it for you. It's recording it, recording it. You keep people, you do this one, you do that one. The head is recording all of them. You have given the head what it's not supposed to eat to eat. And it's angry. Amen. Are we ready? Bring your sword. Papa.
Hmm. Oh, what are you? Eh? So out of these doors, or from this dust, or from this earth, you and I came from. God created us out of this. So as a matter of fact, what you are looking at is you. So people don't want to hear this kind of thing. It's a bad of friend that is me, I don't know. <laughs> ah, yeah. So, I wanted to lift it up to your face because you are going to have a serious conversation today. Very serious conversation. One of the most serious conversations you ever make in your life. <laughs> Amen. You carry it. You need to talk to it because some people, you know that you have done some things that are not right. You need to ask. It is God that created it. You say, I need to ask for mercy, but from God. I don't need to ask from the earth. Why did it complain when they poured the blood of Abel on it? You offended it. That's not what God gave it. Some of you, as you small like this, never reach 50 years. You, are, you, 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 you know one place in your village that you went and planted you do one pot. There's one pot that you planted with your own hand. <laughs> but there's, there's one small thing like that. You are the one, oh, as you small like that. The head, as we are talking like this, the head, the head is already hot in my hand. It's already hot. It has started complaining already. It's already getting hot in my hand. But not started praying. So if you want to start praying, you throw that, you fling that at one side because it will not, it will not, you will not be able. You know very well what you have done. You know, you have put something in it that is not supposed to be there. You have given it what you are not supposed to give. It has the ability to hear. It has the ability to write. It's time for you to talk to it. You will call it just as in that Jeremiah, they called it O F O F. I've come to understand certain things about you. <laughs> Valerie says she cannot hold it. <laughs> Why can you not hold it? Your hand is heavy. 
I said, well, I've not started talking. Eh? It's hot. I remember a woman that she came for prayer. I told her, go and carry it outside. Oh, yeah. Now I'm actually put, put, put the thing inside my eye. I said, Mama, you won't blind me. She said, I'm being sorry. It's not easy. I said, you know what? You have done a lot of things. So you, you can put some on the ground and put your leg on it. After you, because after this, you will now pour salt in it before you start doing prayer. But as raw as it is right now, you begin to talk to it. See, I've listened to what Pastor Brenda has said. I understand that I've done some things that are not right. And I ask that you, you know, forgive me. These things that I have done, I'm not supposed to do them. I've given you what to eat that you're not supposed to eat. I've done some things. I've caused some people's tears to fall on you, and it's not supposed to be so. You know, tears have salt. Is there anybody who loves salt to be eating salt? There are some people that are crying. Their tears are recorded. The head is writing down. You are giving the head salt to eat. Lift up your voice and speak. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this opportunity. I thank you, oh God, for this opportunity that you have given us to make peace with what you created us from. You have given us the opportunity to make peace with ourselves. Lord, I ask in the name of Jesus, that from this earth that you made me, anything that I have done against this earth, that it has written evil things concerning me, concerning my life. I ask today that earth, all earth, mother earth, from where I came from, I ask today for mercy. I ask for mercy. I ask for mercy. I ask for mercy. Anything that I have done that has opened the door for people to now invoke spirit through you to disturb my destiny. That you yourself, you are standing as a hindrance against me. Oh, Mother Earth, I'm asking today that you will let go and allow blessings, just as anything that is planted in you, you allow it to flourish. That may I flourish also in the name of Jesus. I ask that today, any spirit that has come out of you that is chasing me, causing me pain in my life, causing troubles in my life, I ask that today, as I make peace with you, let those spirits go back in the mighty name of Jesus. O S O S, listen to the voice of the Lord. Today, it doesn't matter who is speaking, came to you and spoke first. I have come to speak with you, for you are where I come from. You cannot reject me because I am you and you are me. You cannot allow other people to come between me and you. Today, I ask. That anything that our Father in heaven did not create you and put inside of you, anything that the, our Father in heaven did not take from you to make me today, whether it is sickness, whether it is backwardness, whatever it is that the enemy is using you to do to me today, all else reject them all in the mighty name of Jesus. I ask today that from today going forward, that you will you will walk in harmony with me. You will stand in my favor. You will stand in my favor. You will speak in my favor. You will accept me what I will step out any day to go and do. You will accord it in the name of Jesus. Oh, F, O, F, 
what my ancestors did to you, cutting blood of all manner of animals, do not hold it against me in the name of Jesus. Oh, Ed, oh, Ed, oh, Ed. What did they say to you? What spirits have they invoked out of you to follow me today? Let those spirits depart in the mighty name of Jesus. Today, yes, open the way. Way it has been blocked because you do not approve or because you are not happy. Today, I ask in the name of Jesus, that it be cleansed, it be removed in the name of Jesus. No longer will you bear grudges against me. No longer will you stand as a hindrance against me. No longer will you fight against me. No longer will you be in agreement with my enemies against me. No longer will I go after something and fail. No longer will witches and wizards stand upon you to disappear and appear in my house. No, you will not permit them in the name of Jesus Christ. No longer will those animals, those people, those human beings that are animals, they are crawling up and down. Will they crawl on you to come and look for me? You will not permit them because I have made peace with you. From today, you will be my witness. From today, you will record everything that they have done against me. From the day that I was born up to today, anything that they have done against me, oh, it, it is time for you to arise and go after those people in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, yes, oh, yes. I ask for mercy. I ask for peace today. I ask that you accept me for you are where I come from. For you and, and me are the same thing. I ask that today my life be changed forever. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Now get that sword. You will pour it inside. I don't know why I'm hearing some people are saying to themselves, Pastor Brenda, are you praying to it? Is there anybody that has a question? I'm hearing my spirit. There are some people that are judging. I want any if you are if you have any doubt somewhere. Let me clarify you for continue. Hello. Speak now or you remain with your you 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 remain with your pain in your heart. I don't do anything that it's not here. No, you have to carry that head in your hand. No, you don't put pour it in the you have to that's you. You are that ground. You are not putting it in the ground. Are you plastic? Now pour the salt. My floor, my Florence, do. Are you okay? 
Yes, so. Are you confused in anything? Is your mind okay? My mind is okay. I was thinking that um, at some point when you were saying, I wasn't repeating what you were saying, then I kind of got confused. Like, was I supposed to be saying everything you were saying? Then I said, did I pray enough? I was just asking myself those questions. Meet everybody. Would you, the one we picked, the one we picked, you know, but let's just be trying. God knows what we're trying. Mommy, question. Sorry. Um, should we put the, the, um, the earth in our hand or put it in something? Don't put it in something. Hold it in your hand. Can you not? I'm holding my seat. I'm holding my hand like this. My God. I will put it in something. Okay. Put it in your hand, though. Put it, you don't have to put it inside of anything. And then pour the salt onto it, right? Pour the salt onto it. Okay. Thanks, Mom. Oh, bless you. All right, let's go. So Matthew chapter 5 from verse 13 to 16, it said, you are the salt of the earth. You are the salt of the earth. But if you lose, if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? There are people under the sound of my voice that they are the salt of the earth, but they have lost their taste for life. There's no, that's why you see people going up and down. They, they are feeling like, I, I don't, I don't, I don't feel like this life is worth it anymore. You have lost your taste. He said, you are the salt of the egg, but if at all you lose the salt, you lose its saltiness. He said, how will you get it? Again, he said, it is no longer good for anything. So once a human being loses a saltiness, say you are not good for nothing again. So everything begins to deny you. So when the earth has started fighting somebody, every other thing will fight you. That's the reason why you have to talk to the earth like that. Everything will fight you. Listen to me. Have you ever seen somebody that cannot wipe your shoe, but the person is talking to you anyhow? It's because the earth eh, <laughs> is in accordance, is agreeing. You're asking yourself like, hey, God, I'm finished though. Until this one is talking to me. There's something wrong. There's something wrong. Something has taught your saltiness. Something has taught you as the salt of the earth. Do you know you have so much power? Do you know that there are times that you're supposed, you're supposed to be approaching like that? People who just look at you and, and go away because of the kind of presence that you command. But when you look at people, you look at certain things and the way people, they address you. You're asking yourself, eh? <laughs> mm. Mm. The way you look, your husband will minimize you. You will know that something is wrong. Something no, so no day. Do you hear anything that doesn't have this? useless it's scripture Anna. they say you should throw it away it doesn't have use it's not good for anything he said if it's no longer good he said it is no longer good for anything he said but if the salt loses its saltiness how can it be how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled on their feet. So you, do you understand what is happening? Thrown out and trampled on their feet. They are, you, you, I don't have to, you, so you understand what is happening now. Maflo, I'm asking you in particular, do you understand what is happening to you at your place of work? With all the qualification and everything that you have. Because somebody is using it, because somebody is talking to it, because it has been polluted. 
concerning you. So now you they have to throw you outside like garbage. And trample, yes. And trampling up. You, you have the qualification, you have everything, yet they are trampling on you. Why? Somebody has taken something. But today, in the name of Jesus, as you put that sword inside of that earth and mix it, because that is where you came from, you are fixing you. It is just like the day of Genesis. It's just like the day that God created you and put this one and put that one and put this one. Today you will pray. You will pray because today it will be like that same day that God created you and bring inside of you. You will come back to the earth as a newborn baby. You will come back with new virtue, new everything in the name of Jesus Christ. This Augustina, you can do it when you return home. Amen. Amen. He said it should be trampled. So this boyfriend can. I want to marry you. One, two, three. Is he, is he finished? Doesn't care again. Doesn't do anything. Begin to insult you. Begin to talk anyhow. Begin to act anyhow. Ah, you're asking yourself, what is happening? My dear, you have, they have commanded air to filling you outside for trampling. Let me tell you, nothing is happening to you for nothing. Let me tell you, nothing is a coincidence. Nothing is happening to you for nothing. There's a cause of that problem. There's a cause. There's a cause. But if you handle these two things that I've taught you people these two days, that broom that you swept in the morning. In fact, even that those your toes in the morning that you are, you put that your toes, those your toes back, and that those your thumb and those toes. And this, 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 that sweeping and this sword. If you don't testify from now to December, ah, uh -uh, there's no oil in this my head. There's no oil. Like there's no oil in this my head. There's no oil there. Hmm. Hmm. Hey. He said. He said the son that has lost his, his saltiness. He said it should be thrown out and be trampled underfoot. Verse fourteen. He said, "You are the light of the world. So from the soul that you are, you become a light." Do you see how, do you see, hey God, do you see what this earth is? It promotes a person from dust, from being nothing and, and dirty and everything. It promotes that person from that dust. Have you ever eaten it? It doesn't have taste. It, when you eat this thing, what is the taste of, of ground? It, it becomes salt. It changes you to become salt. It changes you from that salt to light. It says you are the light of the world. Now, you are no longer the, the light of the earth. Oh. It's not the, you are not the light of the earth. Because the earth is down. That you become the light to the world. Look at scripture. It says you are the light of the world. A town belt. Oh, Jesus. You are shifted from being something that has been created from the ground. Bread upon. You have become salt. You have now become the light. You have now become a city, a town that is built. If the, hey, this, this, this man you are holding, if he intentionally wants to bless you, if he want to bless you, you will not believe. Papa, do you remember when I, I always say that that an, an angel met me and gave me the card that I went and got that job? It was after the Lord asked me to do to use it. Me, I didn't have no qualification to work with, 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 with your United Nations. Who give me qualification? Who even give me connection? 
It was this prayer that I finished praying. The Lord told me, get off, enter taxi, go to so so place, go and walk around so so place. I went to that place and met a man. He removed a cart and gave me. Go to Yaoundé by tomorrow, by so so time. Go to the Ministry of External Relations. Go and show it to so 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 and so person. They'll give you a job. I went there, I was shocked. They say, okay, yeah, you, you, you will need to bring your passport for us to go and put you visa because you have been employed with the United Nations. You are working with Cameroon Embassy in Equatorial Guinea. You have been employed. I, my mom was like this. They were asking me, who, who, who connected you? <laughs> I, I said, eh? Who connected you? I said, eh? <laughs> who connected you? They say, you don't want to say it there. Eh? They say these kind of people who don't know if they are coming from the presidency. He was an angel. When that man gave me that card, it was just as if something in my head was not working. And now I was going. I said, hey, but let me turn. I just said, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. He said, yes, go, 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 go. I started going. But I said, let me turn and look at this man very well. Just like five steps on a straight street like this. I couldn't find that man. I shake. I said, Jesus, it's as if I wake up from a sleep. I said, Jesus Christ. And I asked one boy that was selling, they selling phone. I said, do you see one man putting on white? He said, I, know, I didn't see anybody. He said, but I saw you here, but I, I said, I, there was one man with me. He said, my guy, he just said, no, as he goes. I said, wait, wait, there's somebody that, that just gave me this card, this card. They said, give me the card. I said, no, 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 no. Say, I, there was somebody here. I ran up and down that street. The Lord asked me, who are you looking for? Sanenja, go home. Where you make peace with this man, just as this scripture is saying, from dust to salt, from salt to light, from light to a building on a hill that cannot be hidden. God is about to amplify your capacity. God is about to illuminate you. God is about to give you a voice. God is about to introduce you to the world. God is about to answer your prayer. God is about to shame your enemies in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He said, you are the light of the world, a town built on a hill that cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp. Because when you, begun, when you begin to shine like that, when you, listen to me, listen to me. Stars do not bother. When night is coming, sun is trembling how it will go. It will go, it, stars don't care. When it is dark, that's when they are shining. When it is night, everything gone off, then they are shining with ease. That is how we are. That's how we're about to shine with ease. Nothing stopping us, nothing disturbing us. Those that do not like your prosperity, they should just wait because their hatred is not going to stop it. Their anger is not going to stop it. They are, do, can you go and influence star not to shine? You know where they are. Mm. My dear, if you pray this prayer today, well, okay. He said, neither do people light a lamp and put under the table. Nobody can cover you. You cannot be put under. Like the 70, those 70 kings that they cut their tongue and put under table. You cannot be put under the table because you are a light. You are meant to shine. There are some people that after this, if people will begin to fight for you, fight for you, fight for you, see, you cannot do this thing to that person. That person is too big for that thing that you are going to do. No, you cannot do this thing because you are a light. Amen. He said, you don't put a, you instead, he said, neither do people light a lamp and put it under the, under the table. He said, they put it on its stand and it gives light to, the, to everyone in the house. So you are not going to just be covered. 
you are going to illuminate the place to cause the place to shine. You cause your family to shine. You cause or even the life of other people to shine in the name of Jesus. He said, you become the light of the house. He said, in the same way, let your light shine before others. The Bible says, let your light shine before men, before men. My dear, me and you, our light will shine before men. It is very important. Some of us, it is very important for us, for our light to shine before men. It is not because we want to do them anything. It's just because we want to prove to them that, see, God came through for me. 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 It's not because I want to mock you. I just want you to know that after you, you wrote me off, God came through for me. I don't want to use it to mock you. I don't want to use it to say anything to you. I just want to prove to you that finally God came through for me. God came through for me. God came through for me. Let your light and my light shine before men. Let your light and my light shine before men that they may know that indeed our father in heaven it's God. It's in the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see the good deeds. That let my light just shine. That you, that you, that you, that has written me off. That you, that has been fighting all this while, you may see the good deeds uh, of the Lord, it, of, of, of God in my life, and glorify our Father in heaven. In the name of Jesus, are we ready to pray this time with the sword and the earth in our hand? You know what you have come from. You have come from the dust. You came from the dust and then sword was added to you. And then you became the light. And then you became a city. And then you became a that cannot be put under the table. And then you became the light of men. The Bible said in the book of John chapter, says John, it said in the beginning, it was God. In the beginning was God. And this, 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 there was the word. The word was with God and the word was God. He became flesh and, and dread a moment. And then he said, this word became the light to all men. Listen to me. There's a capacity. There's a, there's a, I don't know. There's a level of light that a man can carry. And then the man become light to other people. This is what I am. This is where I am going to. Today, may you and I, may we become light to cities. May we become light to countries. May we become light to our continent in the name of Jesus. Are you ready for prayer? You are at peace. You and the earth does not have, we people don't have any problem anymore. Now you can speak to the earth. You will tell the earth. You are still going to tell the earth though, before you will come back and tell the earth what to do to your enemies. Now you want to speak to the earth what the earth will do with you. You, you were telling him that I am the salt of the earth. I lost my test and I was trampled upon. But I'm asking, oh, oh ye earth, oh ye earth, today in the name of Jesus, Radi Balaka seketi, rada kasi kata libra kata, rika da baka shakata. Don't allow that egg to be like that. Mix that egg and that sand very well. Mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it. Let the the sand, let the the the, the salt go through everywhere. In the name of Jesus, kashada blaga di la gaso kota ya, rika di baso koto lo brokota, rasi gada blaga seke jele brega da, jaga da le briga zaga da yaba. Ma si katala bayata, o ed, o ed, o ed, hear the voice of the Lord. Anyhow, anyway, whatever thing that happened that I lost my taste today, in the name of Jesus, I gain back my taste in the name of Jesus. Add taste to my life, add taste to my life, add taste to my life, add taste to my life. O ed, o ed, o ed, o ed, o ed, o ed. Add this to my life in the name of Jesus. Add the sword, Mashagada Bragada. Today, what God created me to be, I have become in the name of Jesus. The word of God said, I am the salt of the air, and nothing will stop that in the name of Jesus. 
Ragada baka shakata la brada. Zagada la braga shakada la braga da. Shakada la braga da la gada la shakada. Shakada la braga da la gada shakada la braga da. Shakada la braga da la shakada la braga da. Add text to my life. Financial text. Marita text into my life. Add it, oh God. Rakadia santa yaba. Rika la baka seke chile brega da. Shakada la braga shakada la braga da. Shakada la braga da la gada. Sagadolo Probosica da la Bragada, Shaka de la Brega Sagada la Bragada, Shaka de la Braga Sigue de la Brigada, Saga de la Briga Sigue de la Casagata, Raga de la Gesica de la Ba. Attest to my life. Speak to that air. Speak concerning finances. Speak concerning your marriage. Speak concerning your children. Speak concerning your career. Speak concerning your ministry. In the name of Jesus. Ma Shaka de la Bragada. You can put it on your chest like this. And speak, Casiga la Braga de Legedia, Rondo Bosiga da la Bragada, Shaga de la Braga da la Bagada, and taste to my life. This is the time that some of you do the soul that you have in that head. You can put some on the floor and put your feet on top and speak to God. Ma Shaga de la Bagada, Ragada Gada Gazagada, Ma Shaga de la Bragada. No longer will I be rejected on this head. No longer will I be rejected on this head. No longer will my ministry. Do not do well. No longer will my marriage have any issue. No longer will my children. No longer with career. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, access to my life in every area. Access to my life in every area. Access to my life in every area. Ragadaga zagada la bragada, zagada la bragada gada. I am the salt of the earth. I carry the fragrance. Ah, that is in the earth. Ragida balobo zagada. Labra, Zigada Braga Zeke de Lebregada, Zagadilla Braga de la Braga Zeke, Zagada la Bragada. Let my finances begin to test, let my ministry begin to test, let my life begin to test, let my health begin to test, let my children, oh God, my Shaga la Braga Zika de la Brigada, Zagade de Brigada Gata Gazikada, Ragata Gazika de la Braga, Yede de Lebregada Gazakata, Ezagada la Braga de Gazikada, Isagada la Braga de la Braga, Zeke de Gazika. It doesn't matter who has said what, who poured what on you, who poured libation, who poured blood. It no longer stand. I am the salt of the earth. I am the salt of the earth. I am the salt of the earth. I carry the fragrance as is in the air in the name of Jesus. No longer will I be trampled upon. No longer will I be trampled upon. No longer will the things that I want to do fail. No longer will I be witches and wizards who begin to torment me. No longer will I plant and not have it. No longer, oh God. Add salt to my ministry. Add salt to my ministry. Add salt to my ministry. Add this to my ministry. Add salt to my anointing. Add this to my anointing. Yagada, 
We have agreed that you will favor me. You have agreed that you will be with my son. We have agreed that you will no longer stand as a witness to me being failure in the name of Jesus. To my life as a source of the earth, I will never lose my taste again. I will never lose my taste again. I will never lose my taste again. I will never lose my taste again in the name of Jesus. I will gravitate, I will grow from the salt of the earth to the light of the earth, to the light of the world. I am a city built upon a hill. I cannot be hidden. I am a light. I give light to people. I am the light of men. I am the factor that when they look at, they will know that God is good. In the name of Jesus, Liga Pasumata, Legi Managaya, Ezenemizo, Rodika Baita, Izalade Jelevada, Uzamadia, Onamazegede, Ezegevalo, Jagadia, Erida Bashakate, Yagade Bregede, Zagado Brogodika, Zalagadi, Inama Shagada, Yagade Gede, I am gravitating from a normal soil to the salt of the earth, to the light of the air wound of the world. In the name of Jesus, I am a city built upon a hill. I cannot be hidden. I cannot be covered. I cannot be neglected. I cannot be covered. I cannot be trampled upon. I am Gadabaya. I am the light of men. I am the light of the world. I am the glory of God. In the name of Jesus, I shine before men. I said I shine before men. 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 In the name of Jesus, I receive favor. I receive greatness in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Father. Amen. Amen. You know the power of salt. When God was telling Moses how to how the people are going to be bringing their offering to him. He said every offering that they bring or that they are bringing, he said they should sort it. He said they should sort everything. Salt is used for sanctification and salt is also used for demarcation. The Bible said, there's a scripture that spoke that David, after fighting a battle, he used salt to use it to demarcate the city. He said they will not come back here again. They will never come to fight this battle again. Today, is it that same ground that head that you have in your hand? That's why you mix it with that salt. You are going to speak to it again. There are people that have been telling you, swallow her, swallow him, do this one, do that one, do this one, do that one, kill her, do so, do so. You are going to speak to that head concerning them. Anybody that is working on this head like this, anybody that God used head and created the person, then breathing that person, and that person is thinking that they are super being, that they will not trample me and finish me. Head, what are you waiting for? Is it not you that they used to create that person? You, you, you have not seen how they used to, those clay portraits they used to scatter. Break. 
break, break, give way. This is when you see some people, you will hear that they have received a certain medical report that they don't understand. These wicked people, they have done too much this year. They have done too much. That's why God is sending the kind of things that we are doing. It's time. There are some people, if we don't do like this, Papa, there are some people that cannot be delivered. Yes. Yes. If the head is your enemy, that's the worst. Mm. Amen. Amen. You see that head? You are going to speak to that head again. You say, head. There are certain people. So Raza you need to call Raza. And I said, Rachel, don't you know me? I know you, but I'm doing my job. Brother, please. Yeah, Elizabeth, they watch. Elizabeth will let me slide. She will let me go by. Rachel is being like that with me. Brother, yeah. brother, please mute yourself. I'm sorry, Mama. Mute yourself. It's okay. Amen. You see that head in your hand? You are going to speak to that head. You see, some of them I know them. Some of them I don't know them all. Mm. Some of them, they are going to contact them to come and fight me, and I don't know them, and I'm innocent. You, you will speak you like 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 Abel today. <laughs> Papa God, I tell my own no. Now that they come and do this to me, when the the egg finished complaining to God, came cry. He said the punishment is too much. Some people. They are about to be whooped. So then they have buried their totem in the earth. They bury it, they hide it in the earth. In the night, they will go and remove those their totem. They will be crawling like that, coming to look for you every day. Snakes chasing you in the dream, chasing you, chasing you every day. Uh, uh, Sister Akira said, it's something like a goat came from the ground today after we finished sweeping. They hide those their things in the earth. The earth is witness that those their things, they have hidden it in the ground. It's coming out when you are sleeping. That's how it will come out and be disturbing your life. You are going to report them all to God. Report them to the, the. You see this man? You see this thing that you are holding in your hand? Speak to it. You, you know what you are going through. I don't know what you are going through. Talk. This is your kind of wicked mother in law that you have that is wicked like this. The way she's going about things, carrying this her leg like this, Ed is witnessing every day. He's going with your husband to native doctor every day, every day. Report her. Report them. Every day you, you are crying. Say, Ed, have you not drunk my tears enough? Fight them. Arise, fight them. I remember, Papa, one time that I did this prayer, me and uh, that my mommy, Mimi. A, a Mimi's neighbor. The next day, he early in the morning, as early as 5 a.m., mm. she woke up and stepped outside. <laughs> you know this, var this veranda, this veranda, that's how she slipped on the veranda, broke this at two. I don't know how that woman managed to broke this at two, what they call ankles. <laughs> when the head, he starts speaking. <laughs> was, that's how she was crawling like a snake. <laughs> what? What? I opened the door, I said, Mimi, go see you. The head has started. <laughs> Do you know how many people have accidents? When the head is fighting for you. Some of you, you don't need to stay and say, we will just leave you and see what will happen to them. Those of them that are taking transit, flying as birds in the night, taking transit, when they want to land on top of tree, two say, eh, you are landing on top of me, I'm standing on the air. The air said, I should not permit anything that is, I should not permit. They will not be, they will, what, what, what? Those mama and that they are going to native doctor every day to go and carry one grass to come and tie it and tie it to be using it to control your husband. 
you will tear the earth that any grass that is growing from you, if they use it to do that thing to my husband, let that grass not work again. In the name of Jesus, are you ready to speak to God? Are you ready to speak? Everything that God has created, he has ear, the head is listening. Go ahead and begin to speak concerning that thing that is paining you, that thing that they are doing to you, that is paining you in the name of Jesus. Speak to the earth, tell the earth to become, to, to, to witness against them, to hold them responsible, to fight for you, to be at their disadvantage as they put their feet on the ground. Let the earth reject their feet. Let the earth open its mouth and swallow them. Let the earth open its mouth and swallow them in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I speak to this earth tonight. Open your mouth today and swallow anyone that is standing upon you, that is telling you to walk against me today from this today going forward. Any man that will come and pour libation on top of you because of me, in the name of Jesus Christ, you will no longer approve. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will walk against them. The libation that they poured against me, you will cause it to walk against them. In the name of Jesus. I ask that those ones that are saying that they want for my head, they want me to die. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, earth, oh, earth, oh, earth. Listen to the voice of the Lord. You will swallow them. You will open your mouth and swallow them. Those that said that we never ever build anything on top of you. Those that said my ministry will never ever stand on this earth. Those that say my health will never ever stand. My marriage will never ever stand. My children will not stand. In the name of Jesus, oh earth, I ask that you become a witness against them. Just as you witness concerning Abel in the name of Jesus. Oh earth, oh earth, oh earth, open your mouth and swallow my enemies. Right it against them. Let everything that they have said, that they said, oh God, I remember when I got married and they were shouting, she will be barren, she will be childless, she will be this. All of those things that they have said against me, against my ministry, against my marriage, against my life, oh God, let this return to them in the name of Jesus. You will supervise these things that they have said concerning me. Let it become their portion. Let it become their portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Mashakala Open your mouth and swallow them. Open your mouth and swallow them. Write it against them. May they be the ones to be childless. May they be the ones not to have anything. May they be the ones to be poor. May they be the ones not to attempt to arrive anything in life and destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, and from today, those witches and wizards, those serpents that are crawling on top of trees because of me today oh earth that tree will no longer agree that because you because they are standing on top of you they will no longer agree that witch of a serpent to come and call around them to come and hide in them in the name of jesus those birds that are flying in the night landing on top of tree oh earth you will reject them from standing that tree will reject them because the tree is standing on you because if the tree does not reject you too will reject them in the name of Jesus. Oh, Ed, oh, Ed, oh, Ed, open your mouth and swallow them. Open your mouth and swallow them. Those that are pouring libations on you because of me, open your mouth. Those witches that are speaking, they are flying the night because oh, Ed, oh, Ed, oh, Ed, open your mouth, swallow them, swallow them. Ragada, baga, shagada, la bragada, riga, la braga, zagada, la bragada, shege de braga, daga, zagada, gaba, rege de braga, zagada, oh, Ed, ma shagada, braga, dege, zigada, those that are swimming together, they are ganging up together against me. Oh, and in the order of Korah and Dakan, open your mouth and swallow them. Let them go down to the pit of hell. Let them go down to the pit of hell. Those that are ganging up together, those that are conspiring against me, conspiring against my ministry, conspiring against my life, in the name of Jesus, wherever they are, from far from near, in the name of Jesus. 
Jesus, from my family, from wherever they are operating, in the name of Jesus, open your mouth. And when they take when they begin to travel, to go on that witchcraft journey, to go to that native doctor at that place, do not allow them to return. Do not allow them to strike them on the way or and swallow them. Let their blood spill in the name of Jesus. In the order of God, Korah and Dada, Swallow them, 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 swallow them. Those that are fighting against the king of glory, against the world, swallow them, swallow them, swallow them, swallow them, swallow them. Swallow them. Swallow them. Swallow them in the mighty name of Jesus. Rakida gasa gada la braga dea. Shege de ge de ge se ge de. Rogo di gasi gada gasi gada. Riga da gasa gada. It will no longer be said. It will no longer be written that they have done this and that concerning me on the earth. I am accepted. It will no longer be said. It will no longer be done. It will no longer be agreed. It will no longer be accepted in the mighty name of Jesus. All end from today. You have been. Be my witness, you be my witness, you be my witness, you be my witness in the name of Jesus. You bakasikata, ligada bakasekede, ligada bakasikata. Oh, hey, in the name of Jesus, you will direct my footsteps. Where there is money, you will direct me. Where there is favor, you will direct me. Where there is goodness, you will direct me. Where there is better things, you will show me in the name of Jesus. Mashakata la brakatea, rika da brika sakata, lika da brika sakata, lika da brika sakata, lika da brika sikata, lika da brika sakata, lika da brika sikata, lika da brika sikata, lika da brika sikata. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. 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 There are certain people that they have buried some things in the egg concerning them. Mm. You will tell the egg, open your mouth, vomit it. Anything that has been planted inside of you. Anything that you opened your mouth and accepted them to put it against me vomit it out vomit that pot vomit that juju vomit that curse vomit that thing whatsoever they have put inside of you that is affecting my life and my destiny oh earth in the name of jesus today vomit it out do not keep any of them do not hide any of them in the name of jesus it doesn't matter who brought the covenant, me and you were at peace. In the name of Jesus Christ, I ask that you vomit it out. Vomit it out. Whatever pot, whatever calabash, whatever mirror, whatever juju, whatever thing, that they, whether pens, whether documents, whatever, whatever that they push in the ground. I'm even seeing, I'm even, I'm seeing, Papa, like something like a, a like a this um a toy baby, right? Like a doll. Yes. They put in the ground mm. against somebody. They put in the ground. Mm. Sister Kira, pray that prayer very well, because I'm seeing the Holy Spirit is linking it to you. They put that thing in the ground mm. that this person you will not have a child. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. they have put many things in the ground. They have put many things, but if you command the earth mm. to vomit all of them out, yes. they'll be vomited today. Amen. That calabash, yes. that pot, mm. that 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 your material of your cloth. Mm. I remember a time that a woman was saying that I was going to die. She went and cast a small coven and a small coven like that, and cast a small toy gear and put inside and write my name and put in that coven mm. and came and put at our gate. I came and saw it and I saw my name on the casket. I, I prayed on it and I picked it. And I said, Father, I changed it in the name of Jesus. Whosoever wrote this thing, I changed it in the name of Jesus. I carry it. I said, Whosoever has done this thing, I'm alive. I said, The person said 21 days. Me, I give the person, I returned the 21 days. The woman died 
I think it was number 14 day. The person, he, you don't know it though. You don't know it. Speak to it. What they have used, what they have put inside of you, what they have buried in your mouth, open your mouth today and vomit it out. Vomit that pot out. There are some people that they have written their name in their family, written one which has written their name and put inside a pot. Somebody has stolen the wealth of the family and buried it in the name of Jesus. I've even seen a tree that they planted a pot under. Let the earth vomit it under. Let the earth vomit it in the name of Jesus. Let the earth vomit it in the name of Jesus. Anything that they have planted, my God, at the entrance of the compound, at the back of the compound, open your mouth and vomit it in the name of Jesus. Vomit that pot out. Vomit that mirror out. Vomit that child out in the name of Jesus. Vomit those that money out in the name of Jesus. That money that they went to bury it that's the finances of the family the gold and the silver of the family all had to them vomit it out vomit it out those carries that they bury in the name of jesus today let the earth vomit them out anything that they are planted in the earth against you and i they use something they tie it and they say this is the umbilical cord of the children they will never ever survive from the womb they will die still back today in the name of jesus oh hey vomit it out 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 in the name of jesus Jesus. They use a toy something. They cut it to pieces, cut it to pieces, and then they bury it. And then they say that this is how they will die by accident. They will die on the street. In the name of Jesus, I ask of God, open your mouth, vomit it out. That curse that they spoke to the earth and said, let it be so. In the name of Jesus, today, oh earth, vomit the curse out. Whosoever spoke with that stick, with that stick, with that staff, and hit the earth with it, and said, so shall it be. Today, oh, I reject that hitting that they hit you against the people of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Return it, vomit it out, vomit it out, vomit it out, vomit it out. Raga daga si kata libra kata yaba. Shege de lebre kata daga si kata yaba. Robo do propo si kata la braga segete. Jaga di braga si kata la braga segete kata. Shege de ge baka soko choro propo soko choro propo si kata. Ri kata baka si kata libra kata. Si kata libra kata segete lebre kata. Shege de braga dala da si kata libra kata. Shege de braga dala go kata di braga da. Jagi daga barika si kata braga. What are these knives that I'm seeing? What are they very nice in the ground? Oh, oh and for me those nice for me, uh, for me those nice uh, for me those, for me those uh, nice uh, uh, in the name of Jesus for me that night uh, out for me that scare out uh, for me that speak out in the mighty name of Jesus ah the Lord said they buried and they said that this is how they will die that the earth so far as the earth is having that that um, uh, shovel that that's how they'll be digging the ground to bury them in the name of Jesus vomit it out oh God deliver my family deliver me oh God deliver us oh God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray amen thank you father thank you Lord in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Somebody lift up your voice and speak to God. Thank Him. Thank Him. Thank, thank Him. You, Father, we thank, thank you. Father. We bless your holy bless name. Be your holy we give you praise, oh God. We give you, you glory. Thank you, Lord. We give you honor. Thank we you, give you Lord. adoration. In the name of thank Jesus. You for all thank you for done. all that you have done. Thank you. Thank you. Your name be glorified. Yes. Your name be magnified in the mighty Thank name you. of Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Father, in Jesus' Jesus. mighty name. Thank you for what you have done today. Yes. Thank, Thank you for correcting the error. Yes. Thank you for putting things straight. Yes. Thank you for putting things right. Yes. In Jesus' name. We are grateful. We are grateful. 
Yes. We are grateful. Thank you, Father. We are grateful. Thank you, Father. We are grateful. Thank you, Father. We are grateful. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. So this is night. I think this is night. Or if it is not night in your country, you go outside. You will throw, you will throw the earth seven times. You throw it. You throw it. You throw it. You throw it. As you are throwing the first one, you speak to God. So as I throw this egg, Lord, you are my witness. That me and egg, you don't have any problem. From today, in the name of Jesus, the egg is working in favor of me. As you are throwing like that, egg, you will speak to it. Speak to it. Nobody will ever come back to you, come and speak another thing, and you agree. Because me and you have, have entered a covenant, we are okay. Nobody will come and speak another thing. Nobody will come and do this, this, and you agree. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Mm. Woman of God, I didn't get to the last one. My 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 this thing went off. I didn't hear what you said. It didn't, it didn't oh, what is that now? Papa. Woman of God, I didn't get what you said. My 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 zoom just went off. Hey, Jesus, this is 3 a.m. This child hitting this thing. I said. You will carry the 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 soul that you have. You you will carry it and you you go outside if it is afternoon in your country. But it's good to do it in the morning. And you want to be hitting that at three a.m. so that police will come and arrest you. So you throw it in the morning. You throw it out in the morning. You minister as you are throwing it. You throw it seven times. You throw it like this seven times. You know how your grandmother used to talk and do things. You throw it like that. You throw it and you're talking. You throw it. The name of Jesus. I make peace with you. Nobody will come and ever say another thing to you. And the sort of the earth, it shall not change. I will not be trampled upon. Never. In the name of Jesus. That you throw it seven times. Like that. Throw it, throw it, throw it. And you pray to God and say, Father, thank you for this opportunity to correct things. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So, that is it for today. God is good. I'll send you forth to your dream. Go and see by yourself in your dream what is happening. I don't have power. Let me go and pray and cover my life with the blood of Jesus because the way they are angry with me, what I'm doing with you people, I'm not finding it funny at all. As they are asking questions, why are you setting them free? What is your problem? Must you release them from everything? It's my job. Yes. So that is Mama. It. It's eleven o'clock here with us. Is it okay to throw in now? Eleven a.m. Mm -mm. Okay. Eleven a.m. in the morning. Papa, it's almost afternoon now. You throw it in the morning, throw it between six o'clock and seven o'clock. Mm -hmm. 
Through it, then that's when sun is just coming out through it. Do you know that every hour has angels that will operate? Those that early morning, like, like that, that morning time, that 7 a.m., like that, they are messengers. The angels that are always sent, they are messengers. So they carry what that's why I'm telling you that you should do like this and like this because they carry the message that you have sent. They make sure. There's a time that I was praying and I was saying that every spirit that has come from the earth, that has been invoked from the earth. So the angels will also carry what you have set back. So don't do it at your own time. Do it the time that I've told you. Marflo, you're asking because you're at work. You think that before you reach home, it's, it's 10 o'clock. Ah, oh, Sister Joy. Sister Joy says she already threw her own. I'm not, I've not done talking. They have already thrown it. Okay. I usually get home by, by eight, by nine. That's okay, right? Yes, it's still, it's still okay. Okay. Congratulations, everyone. Mommy, today's mommy, today's my birthday. You did that yet? Ah. Happy birthday, Papa. Come and pray for Sister Kira. I thought I won't finish you. <laughs> no, I'm just trying. People don't know that what this thing that we're doing like this. When you touch the real thing, you get drained. Like the worst one is that today I was not looking from anywhere. I didn't write anything. I was hearing and I was talking, hearing, talking. I have to hear and then trans, try to bring it the best way that I can. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the birthday gift that uh, I believe you're hearing. I said today has been a special day. Mm. And any birthday gift, I don't think anything is worth better than what you have received today. So it's a special day. It's a special day. And uh, God has made it. He has brought you all this, brought you to this special day and to make today, to run today up or to celebrate the, the birthday is giving you a special birthday gift by, by what has just been happening. So I think it's a real privilege. It's a real privilege and you should even thank God if not for any other thing. For God making it to happen on this special day that you were born, the day that you touch the ground, the day that you come out to uh, to see this earth. So it's a wonderful day. I'm telling you, Kira, it's a blessing. Kira, I don't feel any like It's a blessing. It's uh, it's not just an uh, opportunity. It's not everybody that uh, has or have been opportune or God has met given that real privilege to happen on their birthday. So I think it's a real privilege and you have to thank God. Uh, and Fiki. Yeah, it's and yeah, Sister Fiki. Fiki. Yeah. Yes. So for, for you, Sister Fiki and Sister... Can I give you a telephone? Sister Kira. That today being a special day that God has done this great thing in our life. Let great things locate you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. A day that Lord God Almighty has decided to cause the ground, to cause the earth to open its mouth and for me, your blessing that has been held. Let it manifest physically in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let nothing hold your blessings anymore. In the mind, 
Jesus. As Lord, I add another year to you as you are beginning this new journey. Let it and as the Holy Spirit have forbid all the blessings, let it begin Amen. to work for you from the beginning of this day. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So in this age, you will not struggle Amen. because Amen. the ground has, the earth has already, is in connection, is in line with you, has already accepted that you Amen. should be free, you should be Amen. Free, you should be Amen. Free, should be in good health, you should get what yes. you want, and so shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. So Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Go and enjoy your new age. Go and enjoy your new age in good health. Go and enjoy your new age with great prosperity. Go and enjoy your new age with good blessings that has already been released unto you. In the mighty name of Jesus. In this new age, you will not lack. You will not beg for bread. Amen. You will not be rejected. Those things that used to happen in those in the olden days. Yes, you're already in a new age. It will not be happening to you any longer. Things are still and it is for your good. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You are blessed to you the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 So as we, Amen. as we cross over to the month of October, it's my month. <laughs> Thank you, Papa. Thank you very much for all my blessings. I receive them with joy in Jesus Christ, and so shall it be in the name of Jesus. I pray. Amen. Amen. And I say, as you are looking forward to your birthday, let God also give you your heart desire in Jesus Christ. Amen. Christ. My birthday is every day in October. <laughs> 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 so, okay. Mama Pan, you know, so the boy kid and the road to know he hit the ground when he come out. Really? <laughs> mm, yes, he the He no go for hospital. <laughs> I just remember the thing when Papa was praying. I said, "Who kid and today now you ruling your day?" God has fixed a lot of things concerning her. Hmm. They hit the ground. They were born for a farm. They're not rich hospital. <laughs> That's powerful. It's powerful. It's tiny. My God, just look. put it that way. Yeah. I said, let you touch ground. So I did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you said that, I remember how she was born. Mm -hmm. I said, ah, okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank God for everything. Where, where, where are you there when she was born? Were you there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mama, I'll be small sister, but I'll be here in the story. <laughs> yeah, she hear the story. And she kept this. <laughs> <laughs> The 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 what kind of call is that Papa, from my give from my given name, the, the story of how I came out was was uh, needed to come up because the father that named me is the father that they gave birth to me in front of him. Then he just put his mother's name. So I'm bearing some uh, one father's in the village mother's name. <laughs> that, that's the reason why the father named me because I, I was born in front of him. <laughs> yeah, so, because the person that was born in his hand, he named me. So sometimes people who know me very well, they call me B. But B is not Batibo name, non Camden name, so they call me B. 
Et il dit, B, il va attendre, c'est you, you baby, how? But, it's because of the circumstances surrounding a bird. Happy birthday, sister Kira. Happy birthday, Vicky. God bless you, people. In the name of Jesus. So, this is a month thank of... You, thank you, thank you, mom. Working on me. My month of God working on me. So you can see that indeed it is really a month of God working on you because only you, you are sweeping. You, you are fixing it. You, you are doing all manner of work. It is the amount of God working on you. So, Papa, when is fasting ending? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Hmm. So then, this- Mama, my bed, my birthday with that of my son is two days different. My my son was born on the second of October. <laughs> So we are going to finish the end the fasting tomorrow, but it's a long, it's a month fasting. We are going to continue to do fasting. So you are going to choose how you want to do that fasting. It is a time you and God talking. Go to Him. You see how we are. You see how He has introduced us into the month of October. I'm sure you have seen that it is a month of God working on you. I'm sure you can see. You can see the signs, right? You can see what is happening. You can see how we are going. So you go to him and ask him to what you, you need, how you want to go. Some of you need to draft the way you, you are looking at 2023 and bring it to him because this is the time to prepare for it, all right? God bless you as you are led in your spirit. Go ahead and sow into your fasting. For some people, it is time for you to fortify your altar. All of these things that you are doing, I just thank God that the foundation has been built. That one is standing there. You don't have anything to do. All you need to do is only to fortify your altar. As I do my fortify my altar every after three months, that's how I do my own. Because I don't want anything to stay. And then they'll go and fix their own. And then I'll come. Mirabel, where is Judith? Hmm. Ah, ah, they will not come my name. Then they go and shake honey, shake honey, shake, shake, shake. When they shake, they be, they be, come out. They'll run around for me. So now see now, now see a green python. Nobody, no python will come at us. Nobody. Everybody should take responsibility. Take responsibility for yourself, your life. Nobody should put me at risk for my family. Guide yourself. You know you're coming from occultic family. They are chasing you. Respect yourself. Build yourself like that. That's how they do it. You know that you are coming from witchcraft family. Guide yourself. You that are gonna broken things, broken things, broken things. You want to be living free life. Now you Sabio to pick you up, up. You think that if they are looking for me, they are not looking for me. You think that they are just looking for me because they, that they hate me. They hate me because of you. I don't have anything to say. 